Good evening, welcome to another little uh, trip down the pub, garden bar. I wasn't going to do this tonight, but I thought, well, she shot out to pop around to see her dad, um, who's got dementia, so he's only around the corner. She said, my, my daughter's been today with the uh, baby grandson, Max. Hi, Max, my old mate. He's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous little. I might put a picture up on this video. So, so cute, eight or nine weeks old now. He's creeping on. Whee! Make up, make up, never do it again. I don't know how it goes. If you do, you'll get a smack of your bum. <laughs> Go on, grip it, grip it. Grip it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be a nightmare. <laughs> you on the end of the box. What's that? What's that? Cardboard box. <laughs> you stay. Yeah, so got home work, got home from work Friday a bit early, and I thought to myself, right, I'm gonna crack on and do my bar sign, and do a few videos today and tomorrow, and get the bar sign engraved and routed out and etc. But uh, never quite went to plan. My daughter turned up, which is brilliant because I love seeing my daughter and I love seeing my little, little grandson. He is a handsome little fella, so I can't wait till he's a bit older. I've already told my daughter that um, I'm gonna get him his first beer down here before the dad, Greg. Hi, Greg, by the way. So what I'm gonna do when he's a couple of years older, get him down here quick. Cause it's always like a dad's thing to get your son his first beer, but I might get in there quick and give him a beer, you know, before he does wind up a little bit. I do like a wind up. Get him down here, he'll have a little beer down there and take him fishing and that as well, I think. Overnight, I said to my daughter, can I take him overnight fishing in the bivvy? No, when he's about two years old, do a bit of carp fishing, but uh, she wasn't keen on that idea, don't know why. Um, two should be alright, strap him down on the old fishing bed, he'll be fine. Right. What's that? Bit from me bloody pump, bit missing me pump refill. Right, news is, no beer, but beer in a bag. Definitely getting one next week. Monday, Tuesday, I'm the old one, so next week I'll have beer in a bag. No beers yet. Um, I was going to go to the shops this afternoon after work and get some Valentine's bits and bobs. And then I messaged, messaged the um, missus. And I said, do you fancy going to get some Valentine's bits and bobs tomorrow? Sort of like food, so I might treat it to, I might cook a dinner Sunday. I'm not really a cook, to be honest with you, but, uh, you know, all the shops in that are shut. Well, not the shops, but the restaurants, so I like to go out and um, have, a, have a meal and a beer, really. It's easy, isn't it? So I said to her, shall I get some shopping this afternoon? I don't do shopping, and plus you've got to wear a mask. And I said, shall I get some shopping this afternoon? I messaged her, shall I get some shopping this afternoon? from um, and like a bit of steak or whatever and do a dinner Sunday, treat her. Or should we go to B&M's? Aha, uh -huh. you heard about B&M's. My mate mentioned about all the beers there. So shall we go to B&M's tomorrow sometime? Pick up some Valentine's bits and bobs and she can choose what she wants then. I'll cook it, a bit of steak or something, it's ain't easy. And I thought we'll go to B&M's, we'll um, get a bit of food. And as we make Graham, if you see the other videos, you'll see that Graham mentioned about um, the uh, beers, beer selection they do there, so we might shoot over there tomorrow, grab some, I might just do two or four of each, a little selection, maybe some hours and maybe some lagers or whatever. So, unfortunately people, I'm on the Fosters. Again, I wasn't going to come down here tonight, and I wasn't going to start speaking to this camera, to be honest with you, but I've not been here all week. I've done a little drone shot um, video this week. Hang on. Alexa, turn on bar. Okay. Alexa, turn on strip lights. Okay. That's it. Alexa, turn off ceiling. Okay. Right. Sorry about that again. If you've got... Now, I'll tell you what. I'll leave the ceiling lights on, I think. Yeah. Alexa, turn on ceiling. Alexa, turn on ceiling. Okay. That's better. Right, if you've got Alexa, I apologise again, because I did it the other week in the last video. Um, especially if you copy me and you call your lights bar, strip light and see, then you could be in trouble. But, uh, well, you won't be in trouble. Just turn your lights on for you. It's not a big deal. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I wasn't going to do this video. But I've not been down all week. I took my drone out midweek with a, a mate of mine. who just bought a drone, the Mavic Mini 1, which I had before. So he's bought that, and I think he was a bit worried about taking that up. So I went out with him and took that up in a week. 
shot down a park or the recreation ground, whatever you wants to call it. I call it a park, he calls it a recreation ground. Uh, ground. That's because he's a councillor, I'm just like common. If you're a councillor, you call it like recreation ground. If you're common like me, you just call it a park, you know, where you play footy. Uh, so we shot down there midweek, freezing, freezing cold, and took our drones up. He's got the Mini 1, the one I used to have, and I've got now I've got the Mini 2. I treat myself to the Mini 2. If you look at my other video, you'll see some footage of 4K. Come out quite nice over the river. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, I then met up with a mate, Andy, from work. All right, Andy? Uh, we met up over the river the other day. Well, we didn't meet up, actually. We kept a distance. We had masks on. We kept like a six-metre distance, actually. We sort of waved to each other from a distance, and we flew our drones, because you're not allowed to socialise at one. Well, I work with him, so that doesn't matter. But so we took our drones out. He's got a Mini 1. He sold his Mini 1, but he missed it, so he bought another one. And I took my Mini 2 up. Took some footage over the river. And you'll see that in one of my other videos, I think, if you're bothered about that. Depends why you're watching his videos, really. Um, yeah, you've got some lovely footage. Again, I reckon that's the coldest I've ever been. My fingers are absolutely freezing. So, uh, so yeah, so getting back to that, the week's gone pretty quick, really. I've done, um, taken the drone out twice. When did I go out? Beginning the week after work, and then a few days later, uh, Thursday after work. I'm not going out tonight because it's too bling cold as usual. But uh, oh, as I say, getting back to that. So I was thinking of doing this pub sign. I was trying to do that this weekend. My perspex because I've got a router and a and a, a battery operated router, a nice one. And it's also, you can convert, take the base off, you can convert it into a, what they call a trim router, which is like a smaller router. I don't know a lot about routers, to be honest with you. So, you know, I'm no expert. I don't know the real difference between the big router and the trim router. The trim router is just a smaller body and a little base. But what you do to take the, you take the base off, you mark it on a bit of perspex, apparently, which I've bought a bigger plate, like an A4 sheet. And then you screw that onto there. That gives you more stability when you're out and you sign. But, so that only turned up today. And uh, so I've got my gear ready. I've got the router out, which is over there. Got my drilled out, drill out, and all that. I've got to screw it on the counter sink and make some holes. And I've got a, a little nice palm sander I bought a little while ago to decorate the house up. And I've got some discs. I could not find, well, I still cannot find, it's doing my nut. I hate that. My shed is an absolute mess. Excuse me. I've got tools and crap everywhere in there. Why is it when you go down your shed, that there's everything in your shed, apart from the thing you want. Could I find these bloody sanding discs? I've got a box of them. I only use a few for decorating. I've got a box of them somewhere. Where the, are they? I haven't, I ain't got a clue. I'm lost. Um, it's going down quite well, this. Nice. I've got a gas fire on here. I've only got it on one bar. It's just right, just right temperature. Might not, actually, I might not let up. Two, two would do. Cool. That's better. Get a little blow. Bloody thing. Um, have a beer. Hang on. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't going to have a beer tonight. In actual fact, when I come down here, out of the house into him, put the heating on, put the sievers on, put the lighting on, it's bloody not. It is really bloody nice. Um, it's a bit like going to the pub, isn't it? You know, if the pubs were open, you can't go every night, can you? Well, I did it in the old days, but, we, well, I cut back, really. But you sort of want to cut back, don't you? We all want to cut back. You don't go every night to the pub, do you? But I can't come down every night. It's too it's too nice. So anyway, pub sign. I'm hoping tomorrow to do the pub sign. And I want to do some video stages of it. I've got a lump of scaffold board, which is over there, another piece of wood. The scaffold board, I've just married it up to the front of the shed. And it's probably a little bit too long for what I want. So I might run the old saw down it, a bit shorter. Uh, when I'm going after this video, I might try and do the words in the text, really. Now, I don't know if it's going to be called Life of John or A Different Corner or whatever. I'll speak to my missus. She's in charge, really. Um, she'll tell me what to do, basically. Well, no, I'll tell her what to do, and then she'll tell me what to do, and then I'll have to do what she tells me to do, not what I want to do. That's how it works, basically, in a relationship. Um... Yeah, so hopefully, I know it's going to be cold, but it's not too bad. If I get my bench set up, I can't find my discs, my sanding discs for the sanding. It doesn't really matter. I can just sand it down. I hand sand it. 
I might dig them out. My son might know what they are. I don't know. Uh, the plan is never done it before. And I might not even need that Perspex base I bought. I don't know yet. Um, the plan is, I think, you do it in landscape on your printer. Big letters somehow. He prints it out. I don't know. I haven't worked that out yet. With some sort of publishing software. And then you... I bought some carbon paper. So you, I think you stick, sand it down first. Stick your carbon paper on your bit of wood. Put your lettering over the top. Then you draw. A bit like being back at school. You draw over the lines of lettering. Take everything off. You should have your your, let, your lettering. I can't speak. I've only had half a, half a clean beer. You draw over your, your, your letter. So you got your, you take everything off. And you got Then you've got your carbon paper lines on your piece of wood. Then you get your router. A little cutter in it. And go... Bzzz, and, and gut it out basically that's the plan anyway sand it down fill it in with paint black or grey I think I just noticed some, I've got some grey in the shed by the way darling if you're watching this no it's not the grey that we have mixed up for the stairs and the house it's, it's a different grey an old grey or an old black whatever it's not the house paint right before you start moaning so I'll paint that in let that dry sand that off with a sander or by hand Orbital sandy if I got me if I can find me sand. I've got to route the outside edges where I put nice chamfer on the wood. Put four holes in the corner to screw it up. And then I get the old blow torch out, that's a bit of love. I then up making it look like shells and I'll give it a little blow torch. A little burn, burn it up a little bit. And um and then stain it or whatever, seal it with something. I don't know what yet. God, it's getting a bit hot that isn't it? Right, so that's the plan. That's the plan for tomorrow, not a weekend. Saturday and Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. That's what I wanted to show you, actually, my drone. Let's have a... Yeah, so I've got this new drone. I'll tell you a story, actually, quickly, because I'm not, I'm not here all night. I only popped out for a couple, as you say. Yeah, it's a story. If you flick through some of my other videos, if you're interested, I bought a Mini 1 last year, and I took it fishing with me, and I've been doing some, like, fishing. Well, no, I haven't done any fishing aerial shots, actually, yet. Bloody, I've got to turn it up. Skip. No, I tell a lot. I've done some. I've done some fishing videos, which is what this channel is originally meant to be about. From your fishing videos, you need to go fishing, so film yourself. You know. So I've done some fishing videos last year in the summer in the warmer weather. God, it's getting cold. Um, but I never got a chance to do any aerial shots. So I bought the drone, done some flying around the river stuff, and I thought right. I think it's the first time I've used my drone actually thinking about it. So I flew it out over fishing. We was doing like a social fishing thing at work and I flew it out over the um, lake. I only went out a few metres and it wasn't that high. Can't really remember what happened. It just went down, boom, totally lost control. Didn't do anything, nothing I could touch. Nothing I did with the controls. It just went, hit the water, sunk. And that was the other video when you see my mate, well, luckily I was, I was in despair and a, a mate of mine lent me some waders guy at work russ lent me some waders cheers rusty and i managed to wade out believe it or not third third scoop got the drone and you'll see that video waved it in the air hooray it's alive because actually the light was actually on bleeping now as we get older and wiser you learn by your mistakes, but that's never happened to me before. Now, what you should do, any electrical gear like that, phones, anything electrical, turn it off, dry it out, hang it in a tree or whatever, put it in some rice or airing cupboard. That wasn't available. There was no rice or airing cupboard or radiators by the fishing lake because we was there for a couple of nights. But I think I could have hung it up on a tree in a bit of sunshine and let it dry out. But being an idiot, I sort of like tried to start it up again on the bank and it went a bit so I thought right I'll switch it off and I was gutted done a bit of fishing probably caught the biggest fish out of a lot of us I normally do next morning like an idiot again thought oh I know what I'll do I'll start my drone up so I started my drone up flew it along and it sort of hit a tree but that's got nothing to do with hitting the tree the fact is it was the, the power going for the circuits I think buggered it up so long story short as with anything like that, I was a bit gutted, so I left it and left it and left it. I should have sent it straight off to be repaired. With these foreign com companies, like a bit like GoPro, I'm using the camera now, and DJI, they're a bit of a nightmare to get in touch with. Now, give, well, I thought they were, give DJI their due. 
when did that happen? Bloody August last year. And I've left it and left it and left it. And it worked if you push the battery in and out a little bit. Um, yeah, if you push the battery in and out a, get, a bit, and every now and again you could get it like booted up, as it were, a bit like a, a car, like you've got it started. So it, it would start. Once it flew, I've actually flown it and it was all right. But it was getting it going. It was like so frustrating. So I left it and left it and left it. So I finally contacted DJI. I left it so long. I contacted DJI. I gave them their due. I went on their, their website. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. I went on their website. And I filled out um, their form. A repair form. Now, I wasn't sure. It doesn't mention warranty. It doesn't tell you what actually happens but anyone with a DJI drone now I'll tell you what happens you fill out their form I think they sent me did they send me any packaging no they sent me a label whatever it was free postage so I eventually boxed it up and they said send the drone don't send the propellers but I left them on the pain in the backside to take off so I sent the drone off the other week a couple of weeks back <coughs> free postage it took weeks to get there because of Brexit because of customs and that but um, they finally finally got there I think it goes to the Netherlands or somewhere, so it says. Finally got there, and then they send you like a report. We've updated your pro progress. So I finally got there, we've received your goods. Technical guy looking at it. <clears throat> Gone online, being looked at by an engineer. Next thing I know, it's knackered. So they send me an email saying, a technical guy's have looked at it, water damage, it's a total loss. Basically what they're saying is, a bit like a car, it's a write-off, and it's dangerous to use. Gutted, 400 odd quid's worth. So what happens now? So I'm thinking, right, I'm not happy about that. So they sent me a quote. Apparently what happens is it happened to Apple years ago with their um, ear pod things. A little bit of raindrop hit them and it, it blew the circuit or something. They've got, they build, they build, apparently from what I've heard, I've been told, they build like water detection systems inside this electronic gadgetry. So they've opened it up. Something's changed colour or done something inside. Water damage. Propellers, they said, water damage. Well, that's weird. Of course, it's their water damage. I could have took them off. I've got spare props. Don't worry about that. Camera and gimbal water damage. That's weird because the camera and gimbal worked fine. So, really, I could have took the camera and gimbal off, painted backside, but I could, as, you know, I don't want to hear about that. The fact is, something the circuit board was a bit knackered, okay? And it wasn't flying properly. So, cut a long story short. Dear John, your drone's a write off. Uh, it's going to cost you, what did they say? 200 odd quid. We'll give you a 15% discount. We know it's bad news. We'll give you a 15% discount. I think they want 240 for another drone. Not the whole set, just one little drone. And they're going to keep, under the terms of our policy, read the small print, we're going to keep your old one. Apparently they're going to dis discard it or whatever, so they say. Not happy. Meanwhile, I bought a, a Mini 2. So I don't really want the other drone back, but I do because I want to sell it on. And I've got a few friends lined up who want to buy it or whack it on eBay or whatever. I'll keep it as a backup. But um, So I'm lucky. Anyway, the story is... I'm waffling on. I'm rambling on now. So the story is they sent the drone... No, they haven't sent the drone back. They want 240 for a new bleeding drone. I ain't got 240 spare for a bleeding drone I don't really want. But on the other hand, I do want to sell it. So I emailed them back. So I'm not happy about it. I'm a loyal customer. I've just bought another drone. Blah, blah, blah. I'm happy. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. No email back. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. Then, luckily, I emailed them back. I said, right, I want to take this high. I speak to management. Not that it goes to management, of course. That's just me being mouthy. I want to take it high and go to management. It it went into the water and crashed under no fault of my own. That's what I said. And that is actually true. Because my son was going, oh, dad, dad, whatever. No, son. Uh, everyone who's listening to this and DJI. Didn't I did not? Why would I fly a drone into water deliberately? Why would I mishandle it? I flew it out, it blew, 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 down into water. Nothing to do with me, it wasn't my fault. So, anyway, luckily I sent that email because then she, this woman, whoever it is, emailed me back. Oh, now you've told us that the drone crashed into water through no fault of your own. That's a different scenario. It may be under warranty. If they found find it's a malfunction, so bit of a positive um, bit of positive news there. I think so. What's happened is I had to um, 
find out the date of the crash, you go on your phone, which is that you, you use as your camera, um, your screen. You go on your phone, plug it into a bit of pain in the backside, plug it into the computer, find these files. They sent me a thing saying they want this flight data file, so I've sent them that, put that on a Google Drive in the cloud. Uh, I sent them a little clip they wanted. If you have footage, if you was filming at the time, send us some footage. Well, sure enough, I was. So there's a little clip I've sent them of just basically the water with the drone swirling going under. And I sent these data files, and they can read these files, and they can tell, and also like the flight path, they can see what I was up to at the time. I'm hoping, because I've looked at it, not the technical side of it, but I've looked at my part, it just flies out, goes in a circle and down. So hoping, I'm hoping, they send, send me an email back saying, John, we've checked, and there's a fault with the drone. It malfunctioned. It wasn't your fault. Here's another drone, mate. Here's another drone. Happy days. If that happens, we're laughing. If it doesn't, I'm just I was tell what sod that. Send me drone back because I've got a charge for shipping. They're gonna I'm gonna get charged for shipping. So if it doesn't happen, I'll say send the drone back. Send it back. I'll pay shipping, twenty thirty quid max, and I'll sell it on eBay. Sell a bit on eBay. So on that note, I have another quick one while we're here. On that note, next next week I'm getting them be on a be on a bear. Definitely proper. Get behind the bar. I might even do a little footage behind the bar. Like proper pub. Tell you what, once I start speaking this camera, and once I have a beer, I'm settled I'm settled, the heat is on, it's lovely. And my other arse said to me the other day, she actually watched one of mine, it was blo bloody lucky. And a whisper now. I was bloody lucky because I was down there the other day talking to this talking to myself or talking to you people. Uh, and I was down the other day talking away to myself, rambling away about my furniture and the chairs and that. And lucky I'd delete quite a bit of that footage because um, I would have got in trouble because it turns out unbelievably because she said, oh, your, your video's getting better. What do you mean? I said, because I had that bit of like footage of me walking in, coming in the, in the snow at different angles. I was playing about experiment with my software. Oh, you thought, I said, oh, what did you watch? Oh, yeah, I saw the bit about the furniture, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, that was lucky, because I delete quite a bit of that one. And then she turned around, this is funny, this is funny. I said, the guy at work this. I said, Carl at work this. All right, Carl, if you're watching. I said, she says to me, I'm quite amazed. She said, how can you sit down there talking to a camera, talking absolute rubbish for like 30 or 40 minutes? So it's quite easy, do it all the time. I do it for a living, I do it at work. Me talking crap for ages, getting nowhere, meaning nothing, which comes natural to me. Someone's got talents like that, you know. Um, well, this is what I wanted to do. Well, first of all, I'll show you my drone, my new drone. Happy days, I got this cover for it, so I was, I was had a little whinge the other day. I don't know if I put it on, on um, I put it on my Facebook group. I've got a, a DJI Facebook group that I run. That's a new controller, which is a lot better than the, um, the Mini One controller, I think. God, it's getting hot. There you go, that's lovely. Now I've got that green cover for it. I would have, they only done green and grey. That fits the Mavic 2, they've changed the designer control. But the reason I've got that cover for it, not to protect it, just so you can have a lanyard. It's a bit bouncy and baggy, but it works. So you can wrap that around your neck. There's nowhere to put lanyards on these things. So you've got your little joysticks underneath, that are tucked in the bottom there. And they screw in the top like that. I love this, these drones are brilliant. You can sort of fly them anywhere, they're like toy ones, but this new one, the old, the mini one that a lot of people have got, the photographs are great, but I think it's 2.7K video. And these ones got 4K video. Because they're 249 grand, so they're under this 250 grand limit, the law's a little bit lenient, you know. Keep it in eyesight, you know, don't let it go mad. Don't go over people. Just use your brains a bit. But it's not a big, massive thing. Let me just show you the bag it comes in. Because this time round, the last drone I bought, I bought the basic setup. I just bought the drone because I couldn't really afford it. I bought the drone. A mate of mine, Andy, right, Andy, he, re he, he advised me to get the drone and Mike English. He knows a bit about drones. He advised me to get the, what they call the fly more combo. Couldn't really afford it. It's just that extra bit, bit more money. But you do with the fly more combos, you do get, for instance, this. I didn't do it in the last drone. But this one, I've gone over the top. I bought the Fly More Combo, so you get three batteries and a charger. Nice carry case. Um, you get spare props from that anyway. 
Yeah, well, that's, is that it? Yeah, that's all you get. I think with the Mini 1, I think you get a prop guard. I'm not sure. I've also paid out another 45 quid. Oh, I mean, I've done much that. I've also paid out an extra 45 quid for what they call a DJI, DJI Care Refresh Package or whatever it's called. I think they replaced two drones free of charge within it, whatever. I've paid for a year. So if I lose a drone or it drowns again, I'll get another one just like no no quibbles, no qualms. They just send you one through the post. Um, so I've got two of them. Not two of them. If it, basically, if it drowns again, or I do something stupid over the river, bang, they replace it twice. I think if it was what's called a flyaway, so if it flies away and just it doesn't come back, they replace it. Anyway, the controller, quite like the controller. It holds the, so your phone goes ugh, like that in the top there and plugs into you, so your phone becomes your. So if you're not interested in drones, you know, I just thought I'd mention it. But so, so that all tucks away in there nice. They're quite well designed. I just thought I'd tell you about my drone, really. Because if I was down a pub, this is like my pub rambling video, and if I was down a pub, this is the sort of rubbish you've got to listen to, I'm afraid. If my dad was alive, or a couple of mates were alive that have passed away, the old boys down the boozer, or the boozers were open, and the old lads, this is the sort of crap I talk. And I'd actually do swear more, but because it's going on YouTube, I won't swear. But normally I do throw a few in. Do you know what I mean? Right, so that's the controller. Yeah, if I was down a pub, I'll probably be talking to my mates about my drone, boring them to death. Probably like I'm just boring you lot. I'll be talking to my mates about my new furniture. I'll be talking to my mates about this little bar and my new heater, my gas heater that's burning my leg at the moment. I'll be drinking the bleeding foster, sadly. What else would I be talking about if I was down a pub? Yeah, I'll be talking to staff and I'll probably be asking for a packet. Can I bag them up, darling? And I'll tell you what, darling. I don't normally all put, I'll tell you what, one of me are. Not scratching. So yeah, if I was down a pub and a few beers, I'd be talking about my drone, boring people about my drone. I'd be telling the conversation what I've been what I've been saying to them DJI people. I'm hoping they come back to me and email me back to look, we've looked at the records. It wasn't your fault, mate. I am quite a skilled drone pilot, to be honest with you. Like I said, we made the other day, you can't go wrong because those drones, you'll be unbelievable. Once you're up in the air, you press a couple of buttons, you let go and they just float. They just sit there. You can't go wrong. I don't know what happened. I do not know what happened. That's, that's honest. So, anyone watching this, DJI people watching this, I'll bloody just I'll be disappointed if you don't send me a free one for the post. I'm very disappointed because it wasn't my fault. Maybe I shouldn't be flying loads of water. Maybe I shouldn't be flying it in. Secluded area with not much signal. Maybe I shouldn't be flying near trees and water. Other than that, not my fault. I'll just pour this in here. I've only popped down a quick couple because um, my mother's got to see her dad. I'll have these and then um, and pack away, I think. Yeah, so tomorrow's the big one. I'm, I'm hoping to get some beers and B&Ms. Valentine bits and bobs, food. I might treat it to some chips. What do you do with steak, steak and chips? I can do a steak. The key with steak is I think he's, my son is quite a good cook. You get it hot, the pan hot, and just go tsh, tsh, both sides quickly. Tsh, tsh, done. And then a bit of salt and pepper. That's the key, I think. Chips. What do you have? Onion rings, mushrooms. Job done, isn't it? Job's a good one. Bottle of wine. Everyone's happy. Let me show you the drone, hang on. That's the control line. Let me show you the battery pack. So, if you're interested, that's the, if you get the fly more combo, that's the DJI fly more combo. So you get the three batteries with that. And you do need them because it's so, you know, you've always got one charge, but that's a, oh, that charge, that's also a battery pack as well if you want it. Not that you need a battery pack, but uh, this is the puppy. It's pretty similar to the uh, old model. Comes with a prop guard with it already. Again, we're not here to do unboxing videos. They're boring. No one watches them. We're not here to do videos about drones or unboxing. There's loads of them on the internet if you want them. So what you do, you fold that out. Like that. Bomb. Bomb. Fold that out. Bomb. Bomb. It just sits on these little legs at the front. Look. Take this off. Gimbal. 
Take the cover off. I need a little camera there. Oh, lovely bit of kit. Lovely bit of kit. I couldn't believe that. I do miss it. Like, anyway, Andy at work bought, got rid of his. He got bored of it. I think he bought another one. Bought one back. Yeah, they're all good. You switch them on. Press once, press twice and hold it. Oh, that was got a battery in it. No, let, oh, let me get a battery in. Because it does that little noise. It's a little famous noise. Do you lid? I just want to hear that noise first, then we'll pack away. There we go. It goes that way. Put that in there. Shut the door. Watch this. Press, press and hold. That's the, that is the like the DJI noise. That's the light of your back, which tells you about you're connecting to your phone your, and your controller. This particular model has got a little LED on the front, look. And you've got the, set, you've got the settings on your phone, or the app, the software. You know that rainbow or whatever, different colours. Not that it matters, you know, but it looks good in the sky. But a good little, good little drone. And that, this one does, like I say, fantastic photographs and 4K. Me and my mate took it up the other day. That's my mate Michael. You right, Michael? Emily, Josh. My mate Michael took, um, he's one up higher than me. We went down to recreation at a park the other day with him. He took it up quite high, so I thought, I thought well, I'm going to swear now, but I'm not going to swear. So he took it up, he's up quite high. Can we actually, if you take, stay calm, I panic sometimes, but if you stay calm, you've got four batteries, you're laughing. If everything's fully charged, you're laughing. And no wind, you're laughing. And there's no one about, so we took it up. I think I took it up to 80 metres. That's the highest I've been with this. I think you can go to 120 legally, but yeah, good little bit of kit. Well, I'll turn it off, so I'm not here to talk about drones, really. They're still funny switching on. Oh, it's, it's off, yeah. Right. I was about to say they're still weird switching one off. You've got to sort of press once, press and hold, you know, but. And then that clips, that clips on there. Yeah, my daughter came in earlier with um, the baby, so I'm a granddad now. I was a granddad at Christmas, before Christmas. That's my first grandchild. Yeah, if I was down a pub with her with lads, I'd probably be... Oh, God, yeah, you'd have a bloody... You'd be down a pub with all your mates, wouldn't you? Hey, Johnny boy, you're a granddad, have a beer. Oh, congratulations, all the staff. Congratulations, crack. Oh, you ain't done anything, have you? But oh, you're trying to wangle a freebie out of them, didn't you? Thinking about it, I reckon I could have got a free couple of beers, beers from that. Thinking about it, I've missed out there. All right, Johnny boy, sort on Facebook, sort on Facebook. Yeah, you're a granddad now. Oh, I am, and oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's quite tough being a granddad. You've got to buy presents and everything, it costs a lot of money. Really? Oh, do you want a beer? Yeah, thanks. And then the other old boys, oh, congratulations, son. We. Can I say, don't go back to my old man. If my old man was alive, well done, son. You're granddad now, boy. Join the club. Want to be a son? Yeah, go on, dad. I'll have a couple, mate. Hey, I'll have pension money. Happy days. I'll have some of that. Then his old mate walks in. Morning, boy. God bless him. Oh, hey, your granddad, son, John. Yeah, do you want a beer? Yeah, happy days. All the lads walk in, bar stuff. Granddad, granddad. Yeah, more beer, more beer. Load of freebies. Happy days. Yeah, so I missed out on all that, really. It's not all about free beer, but what my point is... I've been trying to be humorous. My point is, we've missed out on my daughter's boyfriend, Greg. What, bud? He's missed out on a proper, like, uh, wetting the baby's head, like we did in the old days. Well, I don't know you lads, I don't know how old you are. But certainly when I had my kids, yeah, we had a proper, proper session. Um, cool, yes, yeah, proper, you know what I mean? I remember when my kid was born, I made sure she was all right in hospital. Straight time, straight down the pub. Johnny boy, everyone clapping. Hey, we was on it big time. I remember the next morning, I grabbed a big bunch of flowers and took them to her. Steam hanger, but you've got to cover that up, haven't you? Pints of water. Straight in the old hospital, Diet Coke, Diet Coke. You know, darling, some flowers for you. God, don't let them know what you've been up there the night before, sort of thing. Good days when you're young, young and wild. All changed now, you know, especially with this lockdown. It's changed anyway, because I think people are a lot more sensible now. Get a little propeller guard with this, look. That clips on there like that. And then that clips around the back there. <coughs> Protects it like that. Covers it all up nice. And then that goes in the carry bag, which comes with it. That's all switched off. Everything's switched off, yep. Controller. 
and it all tucks away in the bit I'll show you in a minute and it all tucks away and that nice little guy set up yeah so yeah remember the good old days but even now my daughter's boyfriend is missing out you know on the old wet the baby's head I'm sure he would have invited me out well I would have invited myself out it's not a case of inviting him, me and being invited out. It's a case of, you know, he wouldn't have had an option. I would have just gone out. Let him go out of his lads first because the youngsters, they wouldn't have been out to keep up with me anyway, drinking wise, I don't think. Not a waste, but um, yeah, it would have been nice. So you, I've missed out. I went to baby's head. Christmas, oh, we're back to COVID now, aren't we? It's a bloody mess. It really is. My daughter had um, what they call baby showers, don't they? So she had a couple of baby showers. Down here, actually. Fun enough. She's done two because you couldn't have you'd more at the time. The last lockdown, I think. Oh, I don't know what it was. You couldn't have more than six, so she had six one week, six another week. But it's coming to its own, actually. Though Did we decorated it all up in it. It was all right. Again, done its job. It's perfect. The weather was crap. Now coming here, had some like, what do they call it? Sandwiches and. Cucumber sandwiches, what do they call that? Cream tea and all that, nibbles, drinks, they did all that. Obviously, if we didn't have the COVID lockdown crap, we would have had a she would have had a proper baby shower because I think she would, she hired a hall initially, like you know, proper you have a proper night of it, didn't you? Um as it was, she just came down here one week, one you know, with some people and another it worked all right. We all we'd all we're all working around it but it's not we're all putting on a brave face you know we are putting on a brave face to be fair um we're all sort of pretending it's good but it's not as good is it come on it's not as good as the good old days but it's all coming back yeah vaccines are coming out um there's no football on at the moment is there like you, no one's been to football matches my daughter's boyfriend likes a lot of golf my golf clubs, two sets are under my bench, actually, under there. Yeah, I was a bit of a player in my time. Played off 28. I used to love a society day, though. That was good days as well. That was society days from down the pub, Crowley, yeah. All the golf club, all the lads. I think it was our egg and chips in the morning. Now, what was it? Breakfast, nine holes. Back for lunch, and egg and chips, and back out for eight and I was knackered by the end of it. By the end of it, you can't even hit the bleeding ball. Back in a bar, more beers, back down the pub. I've got my trophies here somewhere. Hang on, let me get them. Make sure see, I'm not lying. Right, I'm boring you to death. I'm now. Let's get here. Look, I'll show you. I'm quite proud of this actually. This was a good. This was down from down my local years ago. Let's pour this beer in now. Hang on, let's have some. Sorry about this. Just, just give us a second. Get me um, gathering my thoughts. Oh, that nearly took the tumble. Right. Now, how many beers have I had? I've only had a couple. Yeah. Right. Oh, the badge just fell off it. So, the badge fell off that. That was longest drive. And no word of a lie, grab from down the pub went. And that, I must admit, some people out drove me. But they weren't on the green. On the fairway, rather, not Quinn. <laughs> I went on the fairway. But on the same day, a lot of people were cheating. I don't agree with it. Like, you know, when it's all the pub lads, they're all cheating. But I didn't realise because I'm a bit of a beginner. Look. Bloody hell, two What are you doing? Just talking to myself. Yeah, what no, I only had a couple of beers. I only had all that lot. I only had yeah. that from another night. That's nice, isn't it? It is nice, yeah. I've not even been down here for months, you know that, weeks. Before I was politely interrupted, I'm not sure if when the battery ran out, I changed the battery and did I keep record? I think I did. 
but there's no break. I only got two clips there, and then the other half walked in. I don't know. I'm confused. But I'll just check the camera, and there's a 39 minute clip. Now, how, well, I'll edit a bit out, but I can't believe it. I've come down here for a quiet chat for 10 minutes. 39 minutes, no. No, I'm gutted. There's a load of that missing, I'm sure. Because I'm sure I was talking about the old days going down a pub. Um, or was that early? I don't know. I'm getting confused now. I don't think I hit record. I'm, I don't know. I think I changed the battery. I swear, it doesn't... Well, there's no news there. It's nothing new. I think I've been talking to myself without the camera running for about 20 bleeding minutes. With no one listening at all. You know, it's bad enough talking to a camera that's recording. But talking to a camera with no not recording, that's like, oh. So to recap, I do know I mentioned about, well, I didn't want to mention the COVID word, but I mentioned about going back down the pub and having a proper beer. Did I mention about wetting the baby's head? Don't know. Did I mention about going down a pub? I don't know. All I know is, I don't know, I'm lost. I've got two video clips. Anyway, the hour I've walked in, accused me of been drinking too much. I'll tell you, I've had... I, oh, shit, I'm spilling beer now. Like, I can't even drink anymore. This is, what's, this is what lockdown's doing to us. That was from last week. That was from last... Oh, there's still a bit left in there. That was from last week, I think, I don't know. That's empty. That's empty. They're all from last week. Have you got a video of me eating my pork scratchings? Not sure. Because I'm confused now. That's from now. I think I've had two cans, two and a half cans of Foster's. What? And I feel a bit... Well, I'm not drunk, but... She's walking in and accused me of being drunk. I'm not drunk. To be fair, darling Jill pops in so low. She's like, God, it's warm in here. It's going to lovely in here. She loves it down here. But when you're in the house and you're looking down, it doesn't look... It's like a bit like our local pub, actually. The Smuggler's Den is pretty similar. The Smuggler's Den in Holbridge, in Essex. You go down the main road, it's hidden away on the left. Lovely little pub, little private place. Well, not private, but... And in a cold winter's night or any, you know, you walk up, and you think, oh, it's all locked up, it's dead. And then open the doors. A lot of pubs are like that. You open the doors, you've got all this atmosphere and the warmth, haven't you? You walk in, you go, oh, lovely. Have a beer. Be like here, if you was outside looking down, you think, oh, it's just a shed. Because I've not got the outdoor lights on at the moment, so you think, oh, it's just a shed. Step in, you go, whee! And she just walked in, she went, God, oh, nice. Lovely and warm down here. Well, come down here, you're welcome. You know, it's not just my domain. You are welcome down here to have a, a Pepsi for five minutes and go back up there. No, don't, don't stay too long, obviously, because it is, you know. No, all joking aside, come down and stay and have a drink. You're more than welcome to stay down and have a drink and have a chat. And then she says to me, am I on camera? Am I on camera? Well, no, I don't think you've been on camera. I don't think it's been recording for bleeding half an hour. You meant to tell me I've been sitting here talking to myself for bleeding half an hour without recording anything. I'm wasting my bleeding time here. And one of your batteries still going. Having said that, the last clip I just checked was 39 minutes. I only popped down for 10 minutes. I'll have a quick chat. Tell you about me sign, my pub sign. Um, well, I don't know. I do know one thing. I was talking about wetting the baby's head, I was talking about whiskey, I was talking about going back down the bar. Now, is that in the other clip or not? I'm lost. So I'm going to have to call it a night, I think. She's going on about dinner. I think she's going to cook a curry. So, um, I'll just have this. I want to try and get this edited and up live tonight. What's the time now? It's only half quarter past six. If I edit this, get it up live tonight, you guys can watch this. Go down your pub sheds, if you've not built one yet, and have a beer. Put the heater on. And I don't care what they say on Facebook and all these groups. This little gas heater, the old fashioned thing like my mate said, always oh, from the seventies. Yeah, these little gas heater things with a gas bottle, they're not bad. They do warm up the building. I had one of those electric radiators, it weren't cutting it. I've, I've moaned about that before in my other video. The electric rad things that, that that one I've got over there, it wasn't cutting it. I've got that's got to go back actually, it's in the way. She just moaned at me actually. Oh, isn't it messy down here? I thought, yeah, it is a bit I've got tools here, like, well, I've mentioned that earlier. I think, or was I recording? I don't know. 
But the little electric rads, I don't care. It annoys me on Facebook a little bit because I wish people would be honest, right? What's the best radio? What's the best heater for my pub shed and my bar down the garden? And people tend to say the one that they've got. Oh, I've got such and such, it's great. Be honest. Is it great? Right? Right, my oil for radiator. Now, now my mum's just got one because her, her heating packed up for five minutes. My son, my, um, not my son, my bloody brother, Tony, God bless you. He bought my mum a little um, oil for radiator temporarily. It's sorted now, the heating. And it's just a little backup thing. And that works smashing. The one I've bought off someone is rubbish. It doesn't work. Now, this gas one, the old fashioned gas thing, with the three bars, you know, the old granddad and granny used to have. Oh, I'm a granddad. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a granddad. That's bad, isn't it? Saying that. Cool. Oh, mate. What have I just said? Your old nan and granddad. I'm a granddad myself. This gas eater, although you get condensation, knocks. Do I feel that? It is lovely in here. And she walked in this now. Isn't it warm? Isn't it warm? It is nice. In actual fact, it's on two bars. I could turn it down at one bar and that'll tick over and that'll do me. That's fine. Warm as a place up. You've got to have a little bit of air. I've said this before. You've got have a little bit of air ticking over. I open the window every now and again. You wouldn't want to sleep with it on. Oh, well, no, you can't sleep with it on. Dangerous. Don't do that. Do not do that. And um, anyway, I think the uh, little lovely's going to do me. Um, well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to have a quick Irish mist, wouldn't I? Join me in a whiskey. What you like? What you like an Irish mist? I might leave that little clip in the video. You're not recording, are you? You're not recording. Are you drunk? I don't know. I've literally had two and a half cans of bloody beer. Um. Oh. I'm getting back to that same old thing now. Get the bloody pubs open. But even my mate mine said the other week, the other day, he's looking forward to pass me up. We all go down and have a beer and come back here to watch the football. You know, in the summer, go down the pub, have a couple and come back here. Stop at the old shop on the way home. Bring back a load of beers each. You know what I mean? So I have a few live and there's a few down there in your proper pub. Out, you know you know what I'm saying, don't you? Have a few beers. All back to Johnny boys. <whistles> Stop on the shop on the way home. Grab some more. Pop down here, just let the other half know you want, you know, you got to let them know and you have a bit of word, uh, let you know, darling, on the old phone. Uh, word of warning, darling, uh, a few blokes are coming back. Get the side gate open. And, um, she's all right, as good as gold, my half, really. Um, but you've got, to, uh, you've got to be polite, you've got to let them know what's going on. Uh, yeah, open the side gate, don't come for the bloody house, open the side gate, the tradesman's entrance, down the side. Switch on, lights on. You know, Alexa, switch on all the lights. Heater on, if you won't need it in the summer, will we? Okay. Oh, God, here we go. Okay, what? Ah, oh, I'm going to try this, because I tried it ages ago. Alexa. Alexa, what are you doing? Alexa, stop. Alexa, play pub background noise. Sorry, I don't know that, but what? I do have a skill you might like. It's called funny noises. Wanna try it? Can do, yes. Yes, we're going to do it or not? What we're we doing? Alexa, what are we doing? Are we playing this skill or not? Here's something I found on the web. According to brainyquote.com, we have to protect our planet from the threat of climate change. Alexa, sure stop. I'm not interested. I can't play music because YouTube is stopping, which is a bit annoying because I'll put my old vinyls on over there. I've got some lovely vinyls. And my other half, because she's a bit older than me, not a lot, but she's got the... I mean, I was in the 80s. Uh, bit of everything, really. Duran Duran, Spandau, Georgie Boy, Wham. All sorts. All sorts of 80s music, bros, what a, a long mix. And my other half was like lived up in London, moved up in London for a while, and she's into dance stuff. Her dance stuff's brilliant, I must admit. And they, I must admit, her stuff, oh my god, 
watching Peaky Blinders at the moment. I must admit, my Ralph's bloody... <laughs> I can't tell what I'm watching. My Ralph's dance music still holds today. If you put that on now, you, that is as good as any music you'll hear ever. Ever. And that is, you know, that's old stuff in the 70s. You could play that right now. If you've seen me vinyl thing, haven't you? But uh, I want to invite you lot down here. Put the vinyl on. Let's have a bloody beer. Yeah, all through the night. Proper good party. That's what I'm going to do this year. And I'm going to film it. I'm having a party this year. My birthday in October. I'm having a party. Right, here we go. We're on it. I'm just going to have one. Yeah. Because you've got to drink this. Or you haven't got to. You've got to drink this with... No, you haven't got to. What am I saying that for? You can drink this on your own. It's not a single malt. This is your ice mix I keep talking about. Very sweet. The original honey liqueur. Ireland's original liqueur. Yeah? Get a bottle of that. Start drinking and do what I do. Wherever you go on holiday. Cornwall, Scotland, Ireland. Anywhere. Portugal, Spain. Wherever you go. Dubai, whatever. Set yourself a challenge. There's nothing like walking into a bar in Portugal, scanning the beers. What do you want, mate? Oh, it's missed. Oh, it's over here. Don't know where that... Well, don't know why I've got that accent. Yeah? Brilliant little challenge. Yarmouth, Hemsby. Little bar. What do you fancy? I'll have a couple of beers. Oh, got no Irish miss. Fun enough. We had a whiskey tasting session last week. We've got one on the bloody shelf. Happy days. The reason why I'm having this... Oh. Me and a few friends have to drink this, and my mate put a little picture. He sent me a picture on our WhatsApp group the other day that he's had a couple of these. It's just a nice little nightcap, a little sweet. It's, it's quite sweet. That is your proper whiskey tasting glass, apparently. Yeah? That's your puppy. Because the shape of the bowl, you swirl it round, sniff it, down it. Well, I, please, please, no whiskey connoisseurs dive. You know, I'm, I'm having a bit of a laugh. But this is not a bad job. I'll tell you what whiskey I've... And I'm not a whiskey expert, but I started drinking the whiskey the last couple of years. And there's the... Um, down a local, the Anchor, another local. They do... What's it called now? The, the Japanese whiskey. Hibiki. Is that it? Hibiki or something? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. The Japanese do some decent whiskies. They're expensive as well, some of them. We was on that quite a little while ago, last year. Uh, a friend of mine was treating us and we had quite a few of them we, I think we've done a whole bottle between a couple of us, a big bottle let me have a glass of this now there you go that's me YouTube front page let's do a YouTube front one look So let's pour that out. That's, that's one. That's a little. Got to check, check up. She knows. So I'll get moaned out. Oh, well, you drink the whiskey. You shouldn't be doing that on your own. Well, me mate, you know, me mates do it. It's a little nightcap, actually. Look, smell that. If you smell that. Look at that. That's a nice drop. It's got it's a honey liqueur whiskey from Ireland. And it's just, oh, you can just see it on the side of the glass. The alcohol on the side of the glass. That's, it just leaves, it just clears your, your throat. It's, it's, not, it's nice. That's fatal though, because when I go down the pub with the lads, I don't know if I've meant, I think the clip, I don't think I was recording. I should have been recording earlier. I, I might have done, I don't know, I don't think I did, I don't know. Uh, I think I said earlier, and I don't think the, video, the camera's working, but I said earlier about walking up the pub, walking up the road with the lads from the pub, my dad and his mates, they're all gone now, and a couple of people are ill and all that, and we walked up, and I, me and my mate Paul and a friend of my dad's who's a bit ill, 
husband Jim, God bless him, he's ill. But they're all oldish. But uh, you know, they're a good old good old drink, ball gum if you ever. But me and my mates this used to be a nightcap. Yeah, it's a ge generations. You have different generations have the different generations home in the pub. Anyway, whatever. I'm not gonna go there, people different. But um that there, that was used to be a nightcap. Oh I smith, I smith, yeah, a couple of us. My dad didn't partake too much, but a couple of me mates, I smith, I smith, yeah, night. And it's just a, it's just a little moorish. It's 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 sweet. A whiskey connoisseur probably wouldn't touch it to be fair. Um I'm quite, actually, well, that, that's quite sweet. Well, I'll just pop in just now. Do you know what she said to me? She sat here on this lovely warm, blah, blah, blah. She looked up my shelf and she, she looked at that bottle of whiskey there. Tannavulin. 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 And she said, who bought you? Speyside. Who bought you that? Single malt. And I said, well, my mum did for Christmas because she says my mum's been alive. My mum does spend some money. She's an old age pensioner. She does spend some money on Christmas. That's one thing she does do. She treats you, she treats you well at Christmas. Amongst other, quite a few other bits she bought me, plus some cash and some bits and bobs. She bought me a bottle of single, single malt. And I thought, that's weird. Mum, you're watching, darling. Thank you very much. That's lovely. I mean, that's, that's mad stuff. I thought, you know what? That's good of her. A Scottish, it's a single malt of Scottish whiskey. Can't be bad. And Jill said to me, my other Jill said, who bought you that to me, mum? Because she wasn't, 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 obviously wasn't watching what I was opening at Christmas morning. Um, she was too excited to open her own stuff. Sport as usual. But I was opening that, and I thought, Mum, you know what? I think my mum bought me some other bits and pieces. She always buys us a joint present for me, me and me, me other half. But she bought me that and some money and scratch cards and some other bits. <coughs> that's a nice, that surprised me. My mum bought me that. It really did. That's nice. That will be open later on with the lads, yeah? My birthday, say, or maybe in the summer. That will be opened. And I might bring my mum around for barbecue in the summer. Get a family get together and I'll say, Mum, cheers, my old man. God, God rest in peace, Dad. Yeah, that's a nice spot. Nice. Oh, getting back to what I was saying, yeah, so she, so Jill says to me, my wife says to me, Who bought you that? So, you know, blow it up. I just told you, my mum. She said, Oh, well, that's funny, I was going to buy you a bottle of that the other day. I'm thinking, Why? Why were you going to buy me a bottle of whiskey? So she's gone round the shop. She's never done this. She's gone round the shop thinking, I'll buy me a bottle of drink. Why? She's never done that. So she's not up to something, but if she's in a good mood, if she's treating me to a bottle of bloody drink, she's never ever done that. A bottle of Foster's, a can of Foster's maybe, but that's weird. So I've got, I've got to take advantage of that, I think. If she's in a good mood like that, I've got to say, look, darling, I've got a bottle of that already. No, that's it. She said, as it's sold out. So I said, look, darling, I've got a bottle of that already. What I'll say when I go back up there in a minute. I've got a bottle of that Tamla. Tamla. Well, don't buy that. It's too complicated to say. But I've got a bottle of that already. Why are you going to buy me a bottle of that? Tell you what, darling. Go up as does weather. Buy me a bottle of something else. Another single malt. Why is she going to buy me a bottle of that? I don't know. What else? Oh, I'll tell you what, a friend of mine, a friend of Jill's. <coughs> God, I'm going to cough now. I shouldn't cough now. It looks, I look amateur. My Ralph looks after her dad and a few other people because she's sort of like semi retired now. She does a bit of care, not care work, but she just, in general, looks after her dad. That's what her sisters do. And she's, there's, there's another woman who's a lovely old woman. That she looks after. I won't bore the story. Just pops in. A kiss down on her, so she pops in. She's lonely. Loneliness is a bloody killer. Yeah, sad. But anyway, she pops in there. For, for no money. Not after anything. She worked in a shop. This woman used to pop in and get a shop in. My brother said, look, I'll bring the shopping over the road to you. She lives over to the shop. My brother kept taking shopping to this woman. Needs to the shop in as a friend and now now she's left this job and retired now she's still doing it and like she said to me the woman's on her own if she doesn't take a paper out if she doesn't take a shopping she's got no one and I moaned about it initially but I've started popping around into she wanted something to move the other day so I bought a new microwave it's sad these people now my mum be fair my dad's not about me my mum be fair we've got quite a large family five of us and we're popping to see my mum and she misses a bingo, like now at the moment. But we pop in to see her once or twice a week. So she's 
all right. And we ran the corner, so she needs someone, she's got someone. But there are people like this woman, and it makes you think there are people like this woman with nobody. Absolutely nobody. They are there. They, they're forgotten. They are forgotten. They're forgotten people. If people like my other half, Jill, God bless her, doesn't go to this woman's house, she doesn't see anyone from day to day to day to day for weeks for weeks for weeks. She doesn't know how to do home food delivery shopping. She doesn't know how to go online. She doesn't know how to register for vaccines because my wife took for a vaccine. She couldn't. She can't go out of the house. She's she's got a bit of a bad back, and she's there's a lot of lot, there's homeless people we know, but there are people like that in homes that are forgotten about. Unbelievable. They're forgotten until sadly they pass away, and then the family turn up. Don't get me started on that. John under his anger got a bloody lid on it. But what was I saying? Yeah, so. Oh, that's it. She does the shopping and she said, Oh, I've got a bottle of drink for John. So, what's that? I think she's got me a bottle of Baileys, I think, to treat me just for moving the microwave. Oh, I've got a bottle of Baileys for John. So, happy days, got a bottle of Baileys coming just for moving the microwave from A to B. But it's not moving the microwave from A to B, it's conversation. You're not in and out. And like my other half goes around there just to keep, make sure she's all right. But you're there for an hour talking. And she loves to chat, this woman. And I was there the other day moving the microwave, taking the old microwave off the shelf, putting a new one up in the kitchen. No, not the old one, but anyway, you know. And um, chat, 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 chat. But they want to speak to people. Loneliness. If, oh, if you've got neighbours, if you're on your own, oh, you know, I don't know. It makes you bloody think. Right, I'm putting that, I've been naughty there, that's out of order. Even I can see that, I'm not stupid. Now that, oh, that's a, that's just bloody shot, isn't it? What the, what is the treble, isn't it? I'll, I'll nip that down, I'm going. Got that beer to finish and that'll do me. God dear, honey, pop down for bloody, f it's like going down a real pub. You go down, all right, darling, just, I'll be back in a couple of hours. You're there all bleeding day, aren't you? What was it when you do a Super Sunday? In the old days, the pubs were packed to do a Super Sunday. You go down a pub lunchtime, you don't get back to bleeding closing. Oh, mate, we've all been... If you're watching this channel, a lot of us, maybe not you younger guys, a lot of us have been there and done it. Without a doubt, we've been there and done it. A bit naughty, but it's a laugh. You're only young once. And it, you go down. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the pub's been open, but I'm not. I'm look. I'm looking forward to the pub's been open, like I said before. Properly, yeah, four or five thick. But are any pubs like that? Like, you know, are they like that anymore? I don't know. I've not been to a pub where they've been four or five thick above for ages and ages, years and years and years. In my day, that was. I don't know. I'm not sure the age group of you guys watching. But I used to go down my local, we used to play um, three or four car break. Bit, of, bit like poker, bit like poker. Every Sunday lunch, bang, 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 when I was single. Brilliant days. Open my nights used to be packed bands. Cool. It's all changed now. A lot of youngsters don't go out drinking anymore. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing. It's not, not my business. I'm totally against drugs. And yes, alcohol is a slight drug, but... Youngsters don't go out drink anymore. That's my kids don't really drink, which, which is great. I'm I'm pleased. But they stay indoors gaming and that. And they, they don't really at the moment you can't socialise anyway, but they stay indoors gaming. And they go out they do go out. When the pubs are out, they do go out. But they go out on nights out. Like <clears throat> two or three weeks later they go, right, I'm out with my mates, they meet up somewhere and go for a proper night out. I used to go down my local, I used to go out clubbing, but I used to go down my local every, well, bloody every night, me and me, Frankie boy, Frankie boy, all right, mate. Uh, Crazy Colin, happy birthday. YouTube subscribers, hello. Yeah, I used to go out when I was single, especially every night. But Things have changed. There wasn't the internet, there wasn't mobile phones. You know, you literally met down a pub you literally said you had a good drink one night and he said right see you down here wednesday at six seven yeah and that was your 
you know, you use your house phone, your mum's going, oh, you're on that bloody phone again, are you? Oh. You know, now it's like all social media. It's, 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 the last 10 years has changed so much. I was telling my boy about that the other day, it's changed so much, the internet. I remember having dial when I, my first computer a little while back, not long ago, I had dial up. Beep, 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 beep. And I was addicted because I still do like a bit. Of, I love computer work. I love that about my computer. That's why I love editing these videos. But um, I love it. But it used to be dial up. And my family, they were doing a nut because you could not get through. Depending on the age of people watching, but you couldn't get through. They could not phone me and speak to me because, you know, I was one of the first ones. I know mobiles have been out for years, but I was one of the first ones to get a mobile. I love my mobiles. And I remember the old days, they were like down the pub, we had that big, remember? And I think that's a little tiny, remember me mate Barney, Bert Barney, yeah, I don't know if he's still alive, but he had a little tiny, tiny mini one with a little arm that fell out, a little Sony thing or something, or something I don't know. And in the old days, it was, the smaller phone was better, the smallest phone, and they're slightly gone the other way now, bigger phones, everyone's bigger, bigger screens. But, you know, if you had a big phone, all on the bars, weren't they, all line up the bars? Brilliant, brilliant. I've still got some indoors, the old, uh, what are they, Nokia's, 7210s, whatever they're called. Got about four, four old mobiles sitting about in, in the house. My dad had one, I think they still work, if you put a car on, they still work, some of them. But uh, you've got no screens on, have you? You can't do a lot with them, you've got no bloody screens. Do you think now, your phones, are your internet? I, was, I, I could use Amazon on my phone so much easier than because I've been doing some video editing lately. I've been on Amazon doing some links and doing some buys and bits and bobs. And when you go on Amazon, the big screen, the proper website, it's not as good as the bloody app. The app is easier to use and the, to, to search for stuff and buy stuff and your lists, your favourite your, your, um, your favorite lists and that. Yeah, weird. Absolutely weird. Weird, yeah. It's all on your phone now. That's the app, the Amazon app. It's better than the website, in my opinion. <clears throat> when we went to Cornwall last year, sort of locked down. Was it locked down or not? I don't know if it was locked down or not. We couldn't really get. We, we, we was allowed to book a holiday anyway. We couldn't go abroad. We booked a holiday. And it suited me. Everything was on apps. Apps, 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 apps. Every single restaurant I wanted to download an app, pay, pay, pay. Suited me. Absolutely suited us. Sat there, all on your phone, bought your drinks on your phone, done. Did not go to the counter, did not go to the bar. If it worked, okay, you was laughing. But, um, cash will be gone. Cash will be gone. As someone said to me the other day, Probably what the government want. We're in their hands now because the government want to track your money. They want to trace your money. They don't want cash. They don't want cash floating about. They don't want underhand deals. Cash, cash, cash. Uh, cheap box, you know. Oh yeah, knock off the vat, knock off the cash, you know, cash now. They're not interested now. The government want you to pay by card. They can track every single penny. Not I've got anything to hide, of course, because they ain't got a lot of money, so. Hence, I'm sitting there with bloody shed drink in the bottle of Irish mist that someone gave me. I'm going to finish this off. I better say goodbye now because I've. 10 minutes become far too long. I might catch you tomorrow. I might catch you tomorrow with me, um, me sign video. I'm going to say goodnight, put this video on my computer, and realise how much I've missed. I haven't missed, you've missed, because there's some fantastic conversation going on earlier about stuff. I can't remember what I was bloody talking about, but. Right. We've had some fosters. That's crap. Well, it's not crap. I can't say that. I'll get, I'll get banned. But try the Irish Mist if you're out and about, yeah? And I think next time I see you, what I'm going to do, have a little chat. Next time I see you, I might. <coughs> I'm going to do my sign. We know that. We'll discuss that. Next time I see ya, I might open. Shall I start opening the whiskies? Is that a good idea? Tamdu. The one my mum bought me. Uh, 
what else have we got there? Gentleman Jacks. I'll have a couple of them. I'll have this Peaky Blinders one, which is a bit, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a take on the, what I'm watching now, actually. I could do that, I'll work through just to decide what's, what's best. This is, this is all right though. I suppose it's a bit, I suppose it's a bit of a girly sort of whiskey really, isn't it? It's a bit sweet. You know, women could drink that. That's not a bad thing. No, I'm not knocking women, obviously, because they're just as tough as men. It's not tough to drink loads. Um, yeah, I think next video will be, I want to do this pub sign. I'm going to go to B&M tomorrow, get some beers and get some food for Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to do a video for that. A video, I'm going to do some video drinking some whiskies, I think. Yeah, I think I'll do that, if you're interested. I know, oh, sticky. I know some people, you know, you might find this boring. I know some people say, I'll oh, carry on the ramblings, but not loads of you. But there are people sitting there. There are people out there. You might be on your own, I don't know. And I do try and reply to most comments, but there are people sitting there on their own. And even if you sit there in your lounge, watching this on the telly, or watching this on your phone or your iPad, it's fine by me, yeah? You know, I mean, you, you, we were having a beer together. Do you know what I mean? We're talking crap together, basically. So if you're there, <coughs> listening to my crap, I'm here listening to your crap. We're equal, yeah? Hold tight, because it's all be back normal soon. Cool. That's kicking in. What is that? 33 35%. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, you know, it does make me laugh being down these pub sheds. And if you build your own pub shed, good luck to you and happy days, because it does make me laugh. I'm almost like, I've got the heater on here. I've got me, I'm watching TV or whatever. Oh, I should be watching TV, I should have music on. Or whatever. It's all lit up. I'm having a beer. I've got no barmaid. Or bar person, <clears throat> it's almost—it's almost like you know you're in a pub with the lads. You have a few beers. How many you had? How many you had? Because you popped them earlier. How many you had? How many? Not many. Not well. I haven't had many. And I've had a couple of these whiskeys. And you go home and you're like, what, what have you been doing? Oh, I haven't had many. And you got to try and—you got to sort of try and sober up. I mean, I've been in before when I've put water in my face. You know, just to get you know uh, dinner's ready. Look, I think the classic one is you get in from the pub and then you crack open a can of beer. Oh, darling, crack on a can of beer and you just sort of keep in the in the flow, you know? Like, blah, blah. Next minute, she said to me earlier, she's going, bum, out, you're out. You are out. You are asleep. But there's nothing you can do. This happened to me not late last couple of years ago, you know, when before this all lockdown. And you, no, oh, how many times has she said to me, that probably happened to you, how many times like, do they say, You'll be asleep in a minute. You'll be asleep. No, I won't. No, I won't. You eat that curry. You eat that takeaway, whatever. You eat that food. Yeah, weekend. You crack out another one. You've had a few down the pub. You go to your fridge or you've done a... Oh, forget about these bars. You've done a fridge. You crack out. You sit with your family. You'll be asleep in a minute. You'll be asleep in a minute. Oh, you're... Oh, great night. This is no conversation. Well, you're watching your shit anyway. You're watching a dance night. Sure. Yeah. Well, so, you'll be asleep in a minute. You'll be asleep in a minute. No, I won't. No, I won't. Promise. I won't. I won't. You crack out of a beer. And next minute, out. And it's like three, four in the morning. You're like, oh shit, where's everyone gone? You look round, there's some beers there. Like You've always got a glass that's full. And you've had about one mouthful. And there's always like, going, oh shit, down the sink, down the sink. Oh. And that's fine. <clears throat> and then you realise it's like Sunday evening. And you think, or oh, I'll work in the morning. And that's when you sort of like go to the toilet, you're dying of pain, you oh, walk and you're oh mate. And then you look at you look at the time and you go, oh sh sugar. Eh, good days. Bring that bring back those good days, you know. Cause, right, I'm gonna finish off on this note because I'm going on and on and on. I did think the other day, I like a beer, and you guys I'm assuming like, like a few drinks, right? But what about those people that like loads of beer? I know people that do like loads of beer. They're out every single night, single, do with their parents or they're divorced, and they are out every night. Now, I'm not knocking them because some of them might be watching this. Now, eh? what are they doing? Are they, are they just going to the shop and buy, well, I think they are. They're, are they buying eight cans of beer and sitting in the woods, sitting on a park bench, drinking, or 
Because they've not got their release. I suppose they just sit on a park bench with their mates and meet up. Because you can't go in a pub, so you might just meet your mates in, in, in a little corner somewhere. In Holbridge, where we live, I'd say there's little rose gardens and some benches there. Just sit there and have a chat with your mates. You got to do something. You know, it's like boys saying, you know, you can't go out, but you cannot sit indoors. I can. I've got a family. If you're single and you you like a drink or you like socialising, you cannot just sit there. Now, whether you sit in a, a little corner on a park bench drinking beer with your mates with a mask on or not a mask on, it's down to you. But you know. There's a lot of be surface mental stuff, you know. Okay, whatever. I'm dying to go to the toilet. I don't know. I've had a nice drink tonight. I've got to finish this off actually. I've had a nice drink. Nice cut of large Irish mist. I'm gonna play this video back, edit it, and hopefully I don't. It, I'm not too embarrassing. <clears throat> That'll do. Let's do a proper video tomorrow. Let's do some pub sign stuff. Let's get this. Let's get this out of the way. Mm. Amazon. I put a link in the video. They're nice with proper glasses. Apparently, I don't know where that work. You got the bowl on there. Apparently. <coughs> Fucking oh bloody hell! That's kicking in. Right, I've had a good night tonight. I've only popped down for a couple. And like I said before, a load of this footage is missing, which is a shame. Well, I ain't a shame, it's, drab, it's going on for bloody ever. Like I said before, it's like a real pub. Oh, I only popped down for a couple. It's like, hello, hello darling, I'm popping down for a couple. How old are you viewers? Right, do you remember the good old days before the mobile phones? I'm talking when I was 18, 19. Yeah. They used to phone your bloody landline, didn't they? Down a pub. Dave, John, Peter. Miss on the phone. What? I think my other half used to phone me down a pub. And I'm not that old. I'm, I think, I think mobiles are just sort of kicking off. I'm sure she phoned me down a pub before, or a battery's gone or something. In the old days. John, what? Johnny Boy, what? Phone. No, no. I'm not here. I'm not here. John, oh, well, I'm gonna do my old land. Mick Murphy, Tom Murphy, God bless them, Sue Murphy, she's on Facebook. John, John, you're fucking, you're, oh God, John, your your wife's on your phone. She's on the phone, mate. You gotta go home. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. No, no, I'm not here. I'm not here. I can't lie. I can't lie. I'm not here. I'm not. I'm not here. Oh, hang on, I'm getting get the accents mixed up. John, John, oh, you've had too many sons, you've got to go home. Oh, good days, good days. John, John, you're out. Oh, yeah, whatever. No, be mate. Right on the road. My classic, I must admit, I stopped doing it now, it was a few years back, quite a few years back. I used to go down to curry house, get a curry. Pop it with local, get, before all this Uber, get, get a curry ordered, go to the pub for a few beers. Actually, this was not ten years ago. It seems like yesterday before. All the curry, local curry, for a family, when the kids were little, little, little. Go in the pub, have a beer, have a nice beer. The atmosphere was in the old days brilliant. And the curry people phoned me up. Uh, your curry's ready. I said, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. I said, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. I said, no. Can you hold it for another half hour? What do you mean? I said, I'm having a beer. And they used to hold it, hold it for a lot. Can you warm it? Keep it warm. Now yeah, well, I was on the phone, where's that car? He said, well, they're late, they're running late. No, they're not. I said, no, no, they're running late. Confession time, a bit naughty. That's a long time ago. I was mad years ago, absolutely mad. I'm as good as gold now, good as gold. It's all on Uber now, isn't it? And just eat, so come to your door. Think about it, didn't do that, no. They weren't long ago. Didn't get many deliveries years ago. Think about it. I don't think so. When a lot of time, when a lot of did think about when a lot of deliveries years ago, you used to turn up to your door, um, you used to go and pick it up. Uber, well, that's new, uh, just eat, it's all just, things have changed so much the last few years, unbelievable. 
my daughter, just like I'm off now, my daughter, my son, my daughter's on work in the same company in the city, and she's just had her baby Max, and I will put a picture up, by the way, he's a lovely little, lovely little geezer. And his son works from home, like in insurance in the city, and she says to me, I've just started taking on two new um, graduates. And I'm like, what do you mean they took on two new graduates? Like, they've actually taken, employed two new graduates. And I'm like, that's weird. She says, yeah, I said they'd land on their feet. They've not actually been to the office because they don't go in, in, in London anymore, in the city. She said, yeah. She said, they took the guy last year, graduate, and they've done a Zoom meeting. The guy's not met anyone ever. Hey. Oh. I'm knackered. So, yeah, this graduates. The camera got hot. I might have turned the eating down. These little GoPros, they can't run for long. It's my fault, I talk too much. I think I've down here for 10 minutes. Quick couple. Yeah, so these graduates, I work by my daughter's company, not her company, the company she works for, my son, in the city. But they've not actually been to the city. So it's, a, it's an insurance broker, or insurance company. I do all these bits and bobs and all the gubbins. And, um, I, I thought I was quite surprised they're still employing people, but they're still employing people. But these people have not actually gone to. Well, I'm assuming I've had an interview somewhere with a person, I don't know. But my daughter said earlier, my son was laughing, that they, they were. This, this couple of graduates, they took another one just now, apparently, two last year and one now. They've never ever been to the office in London, ever. They sent them a. Right, like, you got the job, here's a laptop. Here's your computer screens. Here's a chair. They send it all through to your home. The parents must be going, bloody hell, my son's laying on, my son's daughter's laying on my feet. They've got a job in the city, which is not in the city. No transport, no train fare, no bus fare, no parking fees, nothing. And then we start discussing the fees in London. My daughter's boyfriend, his money's not going to be cut, but they were talking about London waiting. London waiting now will be a thing of the past. Because at the moment you get jobs, it's either built in to your wages or you get it on top. Now in the old days, in my day, if you worked up London, you always you knew that if you worked in an office around a corner in Essex, you knew if you got a job in London, it's more money because you worked in London. It's a premium rate. And they, what they're going to do, I think my daughter said a Daughter, my daughter's boyfriend is going to get his London waiting to stop. They can't put your money down, but in the so going forward, your money, like these graduates, their money will be less than if you're on a certain figure per year at the moment. If you get a new job in the city, your money will be less. The wages in the city will be less. The reason is, and I've worked this one out, from, that's what I do. Your wages working for like people in London will be less. The reason is you've got no London waiting. You're not work, you're not travelling London anymore. You got no car parking. Got no train fare. Nothing. You're working from home. Obviously, it swings around. But you get my son now gets his. We get him internet. But bits. I think we get extra tools on internet. He gets he gets a food hamper every bloody month or whatever. Bits and bobs. He's got two monitors come through yesterday. He's got a free screen set up. Works for the night. Sleeps with Dane, does gaming most of the rest of the time, I don't know. I don't know what your bloody does. But, uh, yeah, they're taking on new people. They're still employing, which I thought was surprising. I was surprised they're still employing people. They need, need more staff, but they don't even go to the office and sit in an office. And their parents are going, what, son, what, daughter? You've got a job in a city for an insurance broker. Yeah, good money. What are you doing? Oh, computer in the bedroom. Laptop. Chair, screens. Huh. They're not even going for a proper meeting. The Zoom meetings. Lucky. Anyway, I feel a bit knackered. I'm tired. I feel like oh, my, my neck's aching, my back's aching. I've got to go. I've got to go because this is like you know when you're down a pub and you've got to call it a night. This is like a pub without a barmaid ringing a bell. I've overstayed my welcome. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this off. I think that's empty. That's, yeah, they're all empty. These are empty. I've only had a couple of beers, but it's this. It's this always fist. Like, like all sticky. And they come out of a couple. Anyway, not sure if you noticed. Guitars in the background. Let's drum a few calls next next video, shall we? 
How brave. Do a few numbers. Before I go, if you're interested in music, and a big shout out to my mate, uh, Gary Barlow. Almost forgot his name there. He's such a, such a friend of mine, I forgot his name. Gary Barlow. The crooner sessions, I bumped in the other day, Gary Barlow crooner sessions, I think are pretty good. And that's all come about because of lockdown. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. What he does, he does like a Zoom thing. He's, he's on his keyboard piano thing. And he just like phones up someone, does a little check. Now that would not have happened without lockdown. It's brilliant, brilliant. I'm a George Michael fan. I'm a fan of a lot of people. And I'm a fan of anyone, I've always said this. I don't care who they are. If they can sing and pick up a guitar and sing and play a tune, I'm all for, and write music, I'm all for that. George could do that. Noel Gallagher. Uh, Gay Barlow. He can. He can do a tune. He can play a piano. I don't think he can play guitar, but he can, he can, he can play a keyboard and a piano and he can do a tune. Have you watched the Gary, Gary Barlow crooner sessions on YouTube? They're pretty good. It's loads of different singers. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. And a lot of singers are pretty good. They are good. And the Gary's there, uh, they're not met. Some of them have never met. The Gary's there, they're there, Zoom meeting thing or whatever it's called. And on the screen, it's, uh, it is good. That's coming back because it's kind of locked down, which is good. That's the positive thing. That's the positive thing come, come out of it, you know? Yeah, check that out. I know you never know. Well, I might try a few chords next time. I'm going, I'm knackered. I only popped out for a couple. I've got to go to bed, I think. Have a bit of dinner and go to bed. Tomorrow's another day. Let's start fresh tomorrow. I've got to go. I could sit here all bloody night talking. And uh, as the barmaid said, last orders out. Work in the morning. Well, no. Yeah. Just think when the pubs are back open, my locals, they're open till one, two in the morning, some of them. Cool. Ooh, happy days. <sighs> I'm knackered. I'm getting tired of this. Oh, I've got to go. Right, ta -da. I'm I'm being serious now. Love you guys a bit. So I bored you to death. You're lucky because half this video is missing, as I said earlier. Right, okay. See you later, buddy. Ta-da.